Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Rick by Rick. Today we have set number 7591, Construct Zerg. This was from the Toy Story theme, which, you know, started in 2010. I think this was part of an original wave, and then there was another wave later in the year. I'm not 100% sure on, you know, the exact release schedule for these guys, but I know this guy was released alongside Construct a Buzz, um, so... And I believe the first wave was this guy, Construct the Buzz, and Woody and Buzz to the rescue. But I'm not 100% certain because, uh, you know, I wasn't a massive LEGO fan when this, you know, Toy Story theme existed. But this is, the theme is what got me into LEGO to begin with. But this set contains 118 pieces and retails for $24.99. So, you know... Uh, keep that in mind throughout the review. So the big build of the set is this buildable Zerg character and at a first glance it's immediately recognizable that it's Zerg so that's always a good thing. Um, this is not really construction like um, for example the Marvel um, buildable figures and the new Star Wars ones like Kylo Ren which I'll be mentioning later um, the CCBS style this is brick build, and I appreciate that because I do prefer the brick building experience uh, over, you know, the non brick building experience. Um, you'll notice the base can rotate; uh, it rotates right here at the waist. Um, so, you know, that that's cool. The tires, you know, are stationary, and just above that, it can turn, which is good. It does have a decent enough base, and I think that the bottom with just the tubes, you know, resembles his shape well enough, and, you know, I, th I think that that's good and acceptable. Uh, not too many complaints. The arms, um, you know, they work. Um, you can get him into some decent poses. <laughs> that looks kind of kind of cool. He's like, you know, got his hand on his hips. He's like, yeah, I am the best. But the big complaint here that I have is you can't, um, like, he doesn't have joints uh, for his elbows, and he's just got the shoulder joint and the wrist joint. So, you know, you can do some stuff, but it does have quite a few limits because of that. The other arm is the same, but obviously it's holding the gun. You could remove the gun, but the gun is also attached via tube to his back underneath his cape, like that. Um, so, you know, it's a little bit harder to remove that, and there's really no reason to, because Zerg always has his gun, it's like glued to his hand, because, <laughs> you know, he's a toy. Uh, I do appreciate the little dial um, that is printed on the gun itself. Uh, you can, you know, take this and you can turn it to whatever power level you want. There's really no indicator to show you which power level you have selected, but, you know, I think just having the ability to do that is, is cool. And the gun actually um, shoots, so if we zoom out, uh, all you do is push down here on the bottom, and out comes one, two, three. You've got three shots you can fire off um, before having to reload. I think that's cool. They get a lot of power, um, like, like you saw them firing off. Uh, one of them bounced all the way across my room and didn't roll back, so, you know, but... The other thing about that is it is a little bit hard to reload them, especially when you get to like the third one, um, which I guess I can't show you now, but you do have to push it in. I remember it being hard for me when I was younger, um, like when I was when I first got this set um, back, I think I got it in 2011, but back then uh, it was harder for me to do, I had trouble with it, but you know, I mean maybe it was just that I didn't have enough strength to push this back. It is kind of a strong little thing. Or it could just be that it's gotten weaker over time, because I think there is a spring in there. And I think for a period of time I left it, you know, loaded. But, um, back to the actual figure. The torso has a printed 2x2 two two tile, uh, and, you know, that looks good. I like that emblem. I think that that is a nice inclusion. These are also angled in ever so slightly just to get the shaping just a little bit better. I think the shaping and appearance of this guy from the front is actually really good. Um, I, I think that it looks a lot like Zerg. And here's the other part that I really like, the head. I think that, um, you know, the mouth print is, is good and all. 
it's you know nothing super special. Um, the eyes, just using studs there is actually very effective for the eyes. Uh, the back is a little weird no, using the two studs. It would be awesome if they had like a one by two rounded plate, um, which you know still doesn't exist to this day. But they also created a brand new mold for the top of his head. And I don't know if there's any good uses of this piece outside of this context, but this piece looks incredible, fantastic, really ties together the uh, figure here. And I personally, I really, really appreciate that they didn't just, um, you know, create a one single whole molded headpiece like they did for the Buzz one. I think that this is pretty much the best solution they could come up with. And the other thing here to talk about is the cape. I'd imagine it looks better, you know, if it's brand new. Mine is a little bit worn because this is old. Um, you know, it's got like a little crease down in the corner and it folds in weird. But if you can just imagine it staying like this, I, I think that it looks good. And I really appreciate, again, the fact that it is a two-tone cape. It's got the red on the inside and black on the outside. That's good. You don't see them do that all the time. Um, Sometimes we've even done like two capes, one of each color. That would be kind of bad here, but overall I think this figure does look pretty good on the whole. You also get one of the Toy Story aliens, and I love these figures. The heads are incredible. They're awesome molded pieces. The piece still exists because they used it for the alien in the Disney series of minifigures. And if they make Toy Story 4 sets, I'd imagine they'd use this piece again because it's, it's really, really just an excellent piece. Um, the printing on the eyes might have been updated for the, like, they might have been shifted for the Disney minifigure. Um, not 100% sure. It's tough to tell, but the actual molding was the same. The torso print is, you know, outdated now with the Disney Collective Minifigures version, but this one still looks really good. It's kind of just a artistic thing that differentiates the two. They're just slightly different tones, but, you know, overall it looks really good. The only thing um, that is just objectively 100% uh, improvement the, on the new Disney Minifigures version is the printing on the toes, like on the bottoms of the feet, uh, to kind of give them the boots. I think that that is definitely an improvement that this figure is lacking, but, you know, for its day, they didn't have printed short legs, so I think that this, for its day, this was a fantastic figure, and, you know, I still love it today. Uh, obviously, there's the newer aliens, but this guy is great. But then there's the price. Uh, I don't think that this set was a great deal at $25. I can see it. Uh, like, I, I can see it justified, kind of, um, but yeah, it still feels a little expensive, and that's mainly because these still feel a little expensive to me, the Star Wars buildable figures. The, uh, you know, this Build-A-Zerg, or Construct-A-Zerg, you know, had more pieces, well, more like standard pieces. Um, a, a lot of these... Star Wars figures have specialized printed parts uh, and special molds. Um, you know, I I could see you comparing them. Though. I think that they are very similar. Um, the scale is similar. The newer CCBS ones are slightly larger scale, but you know, I I don't think it's a super like I don't, I don't think it's an incredible difference. Um, the prices. Uh, I, Pretty sure Kylo Ren was one of the twenty four ninety nine ones, but if he wasn't, uh, if he was twenty, then you know, I mean, point is kind of moot because like the ones that are this size now, like the Scarif Stormtrooper, Death Trooper, they are both uh, you know the same twenty five dollar price. So, assuming Star Wars Buildable figures are regularly twenty five, and so is Build a Zerg, I think you get a little bit more value here. This has a lot more posability, and I think it's better for play. You know, it's got this uh, action feature. Um, this build zerg did come with a minifigure, um, but, you know, I, I could see maybe the actual figure being worth 15 plus, you know, maybe, uh, or maybe like 17 and then 3 for the figure. I think these should have been $20. If they were $20, I would, you know, wholeheartedly recommend them. But, you know, at 25 I think that that is a little bit overly expensive. However, these weren't very popular, um, the Build-A-Zerg specifically. 
because I guess no one really, really cares about Zerg. Uh, so they're relatively um, available and pretty close to regular price on the aftermarket. So, you know, if you are you know looking for one and you can find one at a decent deal, maybe twenty to thirty dollars, and you want a little taste of Toy Story, I think that you know this would still be worth picking up. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but you know, as a big fan of the Toy Story theme, I don't think that this is a really bad set. Definitely not as bad as people suggest it is. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little review of an older Toy Story set. I know you guys voted on um, seeing more of these kinds of reviews when I put up a poll on the community tab. If you guys, um, you know, or I would recommend that you guys check out the community tab. I'll be using it, you know, for more polls like that in the future every so often so you know if you see anything in the community tab be sure to you know check it out and give it an answer because it provides me with some you know useful feedback for future videos like this one so if you guys enjoyed let me know what you think in the comment section down below see you guys all next time bye everyone